Welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And welcome to episode three of my in depth behind the scenes toy photography series here on the Cool Fears channel. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. So this week, guys, we are with the Pink Skulls once again, but this time they are going up against the Dark Knight himself, Batman. So yeah, recently I was admiring my Mesco display, and I happened to take a look at Batman, and I actually do have him posed up in this way on my display, and I got the great idea of him battling the brand new pink skulls. So I went ahead and set everything up. And so, yeah, that was basically the inspiration behind this setup was essentially just seeing Batman in a punching pose and just thinking that this version of Batman would go amazing with the pink skulls because of the light blue color in his suit. And sure enough, I was right. The color contrast is phenomenal and it just really worked out. Um, unfortunately, I put a lot of detail and work in this photo that just kind of didn't come out. Uh, once again, one of the reasons why I am doing this behind the scenes toy photography in depth series so that way um, all that hard work doesn't kind of go to waste. That way you guys can see those, you know, details that don't really come out in the image uh, that I intended to because with these shots that I post on my Epic Shots by Cool Figures page, I do put a lot of thought and, you know, detail in them. Like I said, that doesn't always come out, so I kind of want to point it out. Um, as I'm sure most of you toy photographers know, that's usually how it goes. You set up this grand scene with all this great detail and all this stuff, and then you take the shot and almost none of it makes it. But um, there's always that part of you that thinks, well, what if I don't set up this grand scene and I go to shoot it? And I need more. It's always better to have more than to have less. Uh, so yeah, guys, with that being said, why don't I go ahead and put my microphone down and go ahead and pick up the camera so we can go ahead and take a look at everything. Um, so as you can see here, the main focus of this photo is Batman battling this pink skull right here. As you can see, he is taking a hit. He is on a Mezco stand right here, which is being held by a few things to weigh it down. I do have a little cube light right here to kind of just add some light to Batman's face. Recently, I have decided that I wanted to brighten up my images, so I decided to add not just one key light, but also a second one right here, kind of just facing forward to really brighten up the image. I've seen some really dark and gritty images that come out really nicely done because of some bright light to, you know, kind of illuminate a lot of the details but then you know going in post and you know in Lightroom and kind of just making it dark and gloomy so taking a look at the overall scene you will see here that the pink skulls were riding on their bikes but as you can see Batman put an end to that and while I was actually setting up this scene I kind of had a George Lucas moment and what I mean by that is while I was setting this up I kind of got an idea for a prequel shot for this scene right here and that is Batman chasing the pink skulls on their bikes and as you can see this would be the aftermath after he caught them but as I was setting up I kind of got that idea so that's why I call it my George Lucas moment uh, because I had this scene set up or already in the process of being set up and I happen to think of what could have been leading up to this situation right here so yeah like I said, the focus is of this guy right here just getting knocked the fuck out by Batman. We do have their bikes all laid out like they were kind of just thrown there. Uh, we do have this pink skull right here laid out. He was using those pipes to fight up against Batman, but as you can see, ah, they didn't fare too well for him. You do have the AK right here, which I try to add a little bit of detail by showing that Batman through his, you know, grapple rope and battering around it and kind of stripped it from this guy right here. And as you can see, this guy saying, peace out. I want nothing to do with this or this. So yeah, guys, that's basically my basic idea and setup and rundown for this. As always, I do have a warm tone light right there and a blue tone right there to contrast with that. Like I said, I do have a cube light right here and two key lights right here to really fill in and brighten up the scene. So yeah, guys, for the next episode, I probably will set it up to where, you know, Batman's chasing these guys on his bike, somewhat of a prequel to this scene. Like I said, a total George Lucas moment, but, uh, you know, 
gives me ideas and content for you guys. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth toy photography video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. That pretty much wraps it up for this episode. If you've made it this far in the video, type down in the comments below. Beamer. That way I know you've made it this far and are enjoying the content. And if you want to and can support the channel, please check my Patreon link down below. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of my in-depth behind-the-scenes toy photography video series. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day. <laughs>